Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. It's one not supreme. I just want to point out to you guys that Saturday, September 3rd, is a day I have chosen to do some friendly PvP with you guys. So if you guys are interested, I, I will let you guys know the time in the Discord. But if you guys are interested, go ahead and join the Discord if you haven't already, and we will talk about it there. All right? I'll see you in the verse. What's going on, YouTube? It's one not supreme again, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. We are back in the constellation Andromeda. It's Jan. Thank you again for your uh, UEC donation. You've also made this video possible because I was able to get Akani back. So thanks again. I thanked you in the uh, previous video. I'm going to thank you again because you you've made these past two videos possible so i just want you to know that i appreciate you and i also want all of you guys to know that i appreciate all of you as well um but yeah we are back in the constellation andromeda and this time we're not running the rhino repeaters i took advantage of those two size five hard points and we threw two m7a uh, laser cannons on top and on the bottom we have two m6a laser cannons we are full laser cannons on this one i didn't change up any missiles uh stock shields stock components the only thing i changed were the guns so we are going to uh take this thing out on some erts because i want to see if this is going to be my ERT uh, ship of choice. And I think it might be because I know how much damage that M7A does. Now I can't imagine what two of them do. Along with two more size 4 laser cannons with it. So we're going to grab ourselves an ERT and see what we can get into. Now when I say ERT ship of choice. I just want to point out yes I know there are better ships for ERTs. You've got the Retaliator. You got the Eclipse that throws size 9 torps, one shot at Hammerhead. Yeah, but uh, no thank you. As, as satisfying it is, as it is, to uh, one shot a Hammerhead with a size 9 torpedo, it's boring. It's unbelievably boring. <laughs> um, it's, I, it's just not my thing. I, I'm into the, in, into the gunfighting play. Like, yeah, I'll throw some missiles. I will. I like throwing torps. I won't. I will not deny that. But I'm. I love the gunplay. So I'll. I want a ship that I can take out a hammerhead. I don't want to say with ease, but I can do it confidently while using my guns. And I think this ship will be will be the one to do it. And I just realized I am dropping frames. Oh, I should be good now. So what do we got there? There is a Valkyrie right there. And I am guessing that, yep, that is the hammerhead. So we're going to take on the Valkyrie first. Now, we also only took a single ERT because I wanted to see how it handled first before I, um, before I fully committed. So I'm hoping with this loadout or any other loadout, I might throw some deadbolts on this thing. But I want to see what we can do. All right. We're gonna slow up here a little bit. I'm not gonna go very fast because I'm all I'm gonna do is back straight. Is that another contact thing right above him? Yeah, it's a hurricane. Alright. You know what? That hammerhead's coming right towards me. Hurricane 6-2. Valkyrie's 5-9. Hammerhead is the closest one. So basically once we get within about... I'm going to start opening fire at about 2k out. Actually probably even closer. I wonder if I can actually hit him from here. So now that he's getting closer, I'm just going to open fire and start back straight. 
and just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. He's getting away from me here. So we're going to back off. We're taking some damage. I'm going to pull my power to shield. And we're going to accelerate here. Try to get away. So we can get a re-engage. I know this thing can take a beating. But when shields go down. I want to get a new foothold going. But unfortunately with that hurricane. I don't know how easily we're going to be able to do this. So, I think this ship has size three shield. Yeah, it does have size three shield generators because you got um, 25% all the way around. So, they take a little bit to regen. So, now that we're, we got, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, I lost them. All right, we're going to even out that power triangle, get some of that boost back. We got about 10k away from that hammerhead. I'm gonna let him come to me. I know this is isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but this is also the first time I've actually flown a Connie like this. I've been flying this thing out like a light fighter, and I shouldn't be doing that. All right, shields are all the way up. We got a little bit of boost, so we're gonna pull our power back to weapons, and I am gonna. Oh, let them rip. Shit. Start back scraping. Boom. Wow, that was that was satisfying for one. And it felt easy. Yeah, we got a little overwhelmed with the Valkyrie and the Hurricane coming after us, but one on one, head to head with a Hurricane, or not, sorry, not a Hurricane, a Hammerhead, that was very nice. That was a very nice. <sighs> so, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ship back to Port Alistar, repair because we did take some hits and then we're gonna try it on the group BRT. You know, now looking at it, now that there's an Avenger behind me, this ship isn't as big as it feels. Like this, this, this ship feels huge, but it really isn't as big as it feels because I'm pretty sure that Titan is about as long as uh, like the bottom like landing gear strut and i think it might be i mean if i would do this uh true uh, side to size compare side to side comparison i think it's about as tall from the bottom of my landing gear to at least that first missile ramp. i think but yeah the connie isn't as big as it feels but it, this ship feels huge so, I just wanted to point that out real fast. You know, I used to hate this ship. I used to despise this ship. Because at the time, I only flew light fighters. I love this thing, though. I could take... Honestly, I could take almost every hit in the world. <laughs> at least what it, that's what it feels like. And I honestly have a more of appreciation because obviously we now know what my favorite ship is, and that is my Vanguard Warden. Now, would I like the Harbinger or the Sentinel better? Probably, but the Warden is the one I flew. The Warden is the one I've made all my money with. So the Warden is my favorite. And yeah, it's not nearly as big as this thing, but that's given me appreciation for flying heavier ships and i honestly think i might be grinding out the rts with this thing all right so what do we got here we're in a slower roll here we got a warden cutty black and a retaliator Ooh. 
Let's take on the retaliator. Eat this. I am hitting the thing. All right. I was going to go straight for the uh, the warden, but I've never actually taken on a retaliator before, so. Ooh. Well, I just need to charge. All right, we're going to we're gonna disengage here a little bit. I'm going to put my power, power to shield because I didn't realize I had an even power triangle. So we're, gonna, we're just going to flip around here. She ain't the fashion ship in the world, but I think my uh, cargo bay is opening it. No, it's not actually. Hmm. But we got some hull damage. All right, let's get some of that boost back. I'll we whip around here. I don't have the uh, retaliator on scope, but I think that's actually 10. I'm not sure if it's just a, a bomber or um, you you want the smoke. Wow, <gasps> I obliterated that Vanguard. Where'd the retaliator go? That's my question. I think it's I think it's technically got stealth components on it. Alright, I'm not gonna fuck with you, Cuddy. I'm sorry. We're gonna go take on our our other bounty. Off to yellow. I guarantee you yellow's where the hammerhead is. No. Nope. off we go so what i think we're gonna do here is we're gonna do something stupid um i don't want to back straight without looking behind me in an asteroid field not gonna happen i think we're gonna blow by them uh blow by the targets and uh have them lead us up out of the asteroid field Actually, no. Let's do something a little less stupid. Let's go out of the asteroid field right now and then try to hit them from up above. That's a little less stupid. And then we'll come down on top of them and back straight back up out of the asteroid field. And hopefully I don't back into anything. Because I have a gut feeling that this is where the hammerhead is. So, yeah, Hammerhead is right about there. Or, er, the bounty, at least. Who knows? That? I could be wrong. It might not be the Hammerhead. Right, slow our roll here a little bit. But... Man, I'll tell you one thing, though. This thing likes to drip. So we're gonna I'm gonna turn off a couple really quick. Put some forward thrust. There we go. Put back on my coupled power to engines while we're heading up to it. Once we get in range, I'll put my power back to weapon. I'm not going to go any faster in this thing. That way I don't have to s s stop as much back straight. Because that's all I'm going to do. Because I think that's all that you have to do in this thing. Is just back straight and just let them rip. So. Yeah. Mm. 
That's that's a satisfying noise. Radar contact. Radar contact. That is a hurricane. Valkyrie. Yep, we got the hammerhead. All right. We're gonna go to our strike force twos. We're gonna load up four. I'm not intending these to do any damage. I just want to see if we can't just bring the hammerhead here after we launch them. So at about 5k, we're gonna we're gonna launch the missiles and start a back trade. Oh, I launched them early. <laughs> I just hit the button. No, we'll launch one more. Fuck it, I got plenty. Alright, at 5k. At 5k. Alright, launch missiles. Power to weapons. And I'm gonna start letting them rip now. Got something for you. Even though the pip's not opening up, we can hit, which is nice. That's that hammer. Uh, that's that hurricane coming right at us right now. Flying it like a light fighter again. That's okay. Okay, I just want to get that front shield. Um, I don't know. I know you. I know you can put more power to your front shields so you can tank a lot. But I actually don't know the keybind for that. So I know I'd be more effective doing it that way. But oh, you're coming right at me, Hammerhead, aren't you? There you go. What what's going on? do this come on I'm not did this hurricane is gonna be the bane of my existence yeah dog fight Nakani yeah come on See if we can't get away. We're gonna flip around on this hurricane because I need to get rid of it. I'm basically just gonna pull. I'm gonna use every missile I have until this freaking hurricane is done. Yeah, I don't know the key bind to put my power. Um, um put more power to my front shields. I just don't. This is damn hurricane. I need to get rid of that though. Yeah, I know I'd be a lot more efficient if I if I did do that.
All right. All right. Let's go take on that hammerhead. Damn, we got 50k away from that hammerhead. You know what? Just so he doesn't bother us. I'm not going for efficiency right now. I just want to see if I can do it, and I'll get better as I... As I use the Connie more. Goodbye. Alright, now we're closer to the hammerhead. Right now I'm just kind of coasting, letting my speed drop. He's going to come to me. Four more out. The strut get in my way. Son of a bitch. I actually don't think I'm quite hitting him with the size four, so we're gonna get a little bit closer here. Sometimes I wish Hammerhead didn't have ex escorts, but I get why they do. All right, let's go take out our final one. So I looked at my key bindings and I figured out how to raise my uh, front shield power. So I did that. I only did uh, one up, put 40% of shields up to uh, the front. Everything else would be good at 20%. Ooh, that's a oh, thumbnail. I'm gonna screenshot really quick. All right, I got my screenshot. For some reason, I can't actually capture a screenshot while I'm like tabbed into the game. I don't know why. You know what I could do? I could just play back the recording and then just take the screenshot from there. But if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. So now that we got the hammerhead out of the way, we should have a pretty an easier target. Ooh, look at that sun just go down. That is man, this game blows me away. Huh. Yeah, once I get better with this ship, this is going to be my go to uh for ERTs, I think. we got we got another valkyrie ah fucking hurricane i want you gone Hurricane is down. So we're gonna blow by these guys really quick. Put my powder shields just to get a quick regen. While they... Yeah, chase. Chase. All right. Blow down here a little bit. We're gonna whip around. Yeah, light fighter Connie. Here's the other one. But the target is closer. Shields down. 
Uh, hey guys, did you know that the Connie's a light fighter? And that is R E R T done and over with. We're gonna whip around on this other dog here though. Stop stop moving. Goodbye. Did it was it the most was it the most efficient way to do it no obviously you can use your talate or, or your or your uh, eclipse to get these bounties done a lot faster but i like to challenge myself and i like the the uh dog well i guess you could say dog fighting gunplay in this game god this game is fucking beautiful but that's just the way i like to play and I like to have fun over be more important, more, yeah, more efficient. But I'm looking forward to doing more loadouts with this. Like put some dead bolts on it, either maybe try some distortions on it, throw uh, 85Bs on it. Oh, I just got an idea. Throw two dead bolt fives on it and two uh, C788s on it. That might be fun. I, I got some ideas for loadouts for this ship, and I am very excited for that. <laughs> uh, oh. And I used to hate this ship. All right. Well, since we got this, the uh, the sunset in a distance, I'm going to wrap this one up here. The Connie, when I get better with it, will definitely be my go-to... Uh, ERT ship. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and Saturday, September 3rd is going to be our, uh, our little friendly PvP match. That way you guys can school me in some shit. So, um, if you want to know more about that, go ahead, uh, join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. And, uh, I will put the time um, for that in the discord as well so alrighty see you got uh, alrighty see you guys in the next video have a good one